Uh, not a great video. So I've come up through here with the, uh, the new wires from the new indicator stalk aftermarket one and I've just put a load of connectors from the original wires and I'm trying to turn it a bit. So we had the green, white and black went to the black on here, went to the black from the stalk, new stalk. Then you had the black and white and the young went to the black and white. I think I must have been about 17 or 18. That was the left or right and indicator. I don't have a clue. Then you had the like green and black and new. Again, went to the green and black old. We had an earth. Look everyone, he's coming through the door. The brown went to the. I put it to the. To the white horn wire that comes from the new stalk. That was a bit of a guess. Then I had an earth wire down here. As where is it? Let's have a look. It comes from the new stalk. And then I had a uh, brown and white. It comes from the new stalk, but I connected direct to this relay here, the headlight relay. Um, I think that's it. Probably missed one, but it's all in. Let me just. So I've got it all in place, bolted it all back up. Let's just turn the ignition on. So, yeah, that's left, right, and right, left, and clicking for the flasher. It's good. It's all working, and you can tell on that. You can't really tell, can you? But you can hear it clicking. And I've turned it to see if there's any problem with it turning. And it, and it does. Look, it does cancel out. Um, well, it did earlier. So let me just. I might have to just sort of. Yes, yeah, so it cancelled out then. See. It is cancelling out and it's not rubbing on anything. So, I will say this, these aftermarket uh, indicator stalks are crap. I would not buy one again. Uh, but get a second hand good one. Because they're really tacky, plasticky, cheapy, crappy. And the, wire, the wires are not long enough. And the way I came with the wires, I just went through. I found that, I tried to go through this hole but then it wouldn't then the, it wouldn't seat properly in the steering wheel to get the four screws in. So in the end I came around the back, out through the back, and then up through there. I'm gonna take these ones. And that worked for me. And then it's seated better, because I found that if you don't get this wire right here, it won't seat flat enough to um to screw the four screws in. So I had to remove it a few times, so that's it. Not a great video, but better than nothing.